What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Imperial Diecast. In this week's episode, I thought we'd do something really special. Over the course of a person who collects diecast cars hobby, there will come a time when he will want to buy display cases to protect his cars from dust. And in the past, I have made videos showing you 118 scale display cases, like which brands that are worth getting and so on. But in this video, I'm going to show you a three tier display case. And the best way to do that is to build it with you. The cool thing about this is um, it does not need any kind of screwdrivers, screws, glue, or any complicated building materials like that. All you need to do is to assemble it in like 10 15 minutes and then you're done. Now, this case um, retails for anywhere between 50 to 75 euros, thereabouts. And um, I got this from CK Model Cars for a 10% off, so it was like 45. But I think you can also find this on Modelissimo and on Car Models and um, Model Car World and so on. Pretty much all the big retailers. Although I have seen this not as frequently as I would like to on eBay. I think it's a little rarer there. So as we look at the top of the case box, you can see that the company that made this case is KC Display Cases. It's a three-tier collectible LED display case. And here on the left is advertised as having bright lights. So those are the LED ones that you can see here from the ceiling. And um, it also comes with LEDs at the bottom, and all of it is powered by USB. And of course, its age is 14 plus. And they give you a nice picture here where they show you the different cars. And uh, here we have the inside and the outside dimensions, both given in inches as well as millimeters. All right, so let's take a look at the other side of this box. So here's the back. And the back gives you a big diagram of how the case will look like once it's all assembled. And you can see it has all these labels. So basically, it's um, the front part doesn't swing open. It's actually lifted up, which is probably the only thing that I don't like about this case. Um, but then again, it was 45 euros. So let's see what it says here. The features of LED lighted display case are... The display case provides a dust-free environment for your exhibits. Ready for lighting, illuminate your LED display case and brighten up your exhibits. LED lights powered by a USB connection. USB cable is included. Transparent panels offer an excellent view of the exhibits inside. Removable front panel for easy replacement of exhibits. Display top has three rows of LED lights. Display base has two adjustable LED lights. And of course, you also have two adjustable shelves that come with this display. You can see the switches at the bottom and at the top, depending on whether you want to turn on just the LED lights at the bottom or the top row of lights. All right, let's get this thing opened. So I think I have to first cut these two cello tapes that are holding it together. See if I can do that. carefully up there and down here okay I think that should be it yeah it's cut okay so now let me just get this latch open here made out of cardboard of course all right there you go No, actually, I think it's better if I turn this around. Yeah, there you go. So now let's get this open. And this is basically what the contents look like. So we've got our instruction manual here, the instruction sheet, basically. It's just a single page. And here we have a list of the components included in the box, as well as a diagram of what they look like, and assembly instructions in six easy steps. 
So here we have the posts, and there's four of them, one in each corner. This, of course, is a paper ring. And of course, you have all the panels inside here. And that's pretty much it. So now what I just did was I removed everything and spread it out so that you can see all the contents of the box. I put the display top and the display base over there and everything else further below. Um, there's also this little box here. I wonder what's inside. I think I'll just get this open. Oh, right, these are the adjustable LED lights that you get to mount on the bottom panel. Let's see if there's something else inside. Oh, yes, there is, but I think I have to do this. And there we go. That's the USB cable. All right. So now we should have everything out. Um, this is empty, so I can just throw this away. Put this over here. Put these LED lights over here. And that's it. Okay, so now let's take a look at the instruction sheet. So as you can see, they have the components included, the display top, which is this part above. Then we have the display base, which is this one here. And then we have four posts, which are these four things here at the corners. And then we have one front clear panel, which is this part here. And then we have the back mirror panel, which goes back there. And then we have two side clear panels. So there are these things here. And then we have a um, clear panel in the form of a shelf. There's two of them. So those are basically these two shelves here. And then uh, we have, of course, the adjustable LED lights, which are these two things, which will be mounted down here at the corners. And then we have the paper ring, which is this long thing here, which I have to fold. Uh, let's see. And then we have, of course, the USB cable for the power, which is that. It goes somewhere back there. Okay, so here again we have like a little diagram of all the components, the back mirror panel, the front clear panel, and the two side panels, and the two shelves, as well as the paper ring, they're all over here. I think they're inside there. And um, take a look at the base. The base would be this one here. And the top panel with the lights and everything is that one. And then we have the four posts, which are contained in here. And um, we then, of course, have the adjustable LED lights and the USB cable. Okay, so now we have the various steps as to how to, you should assemble this. And you can see that it says, step one, slide posts into the corner holes on display base. So that's basically like that. And those are those four posts. You gotta slide them in there. And then we have the second step is where you basically put the paper ring around those four posts to keep them parallel to each other, which will make mounting easier. And then step three is where you will use that paper ring as well to carefully slide those different panels into the proper position and then you can remove the paper ring then you can put the top onto those four posts so once you do that you should be able to then put in the two shelves without any issues and finally slide the outer panel so you can see here step one slide posts into the corner holes of display base step two Slide the included paper ring around the four posts for support when installing panels and aligning top with post. 
Slide side panels and back panel down slots on posts. Align top of the posts with the holes on display top. Then press display top on posts. Slide each light onto display base. Shelves are placed on the brackets built into posts. And then you open the door on the display top and slide the front panel, which is the window, down slots of front posts. Doesn't seem too complicated. Let's get started. But first, we've got to get these panels out of this packaging. So um, the thing is, here you can see I have panel A, which is the rear mirror panel. And then here is B. So they're all marked, which is cool. This is the front panel. And then we have these two side clear panels. And um, we then have the clear panel, the shelves, basically. They're smaller. And one thing that you might notice is that they look pretty scratched up and fogged up. Now, before you panic and think that this may be like a really faulty batch or anything, no, it's because they're actually just protected with like thin foils that are protectors. Let me demonstrate what I mean by that. So when you hold these panels against the light, you can see just how scratched up they are, right? And the first time I saw this, I was completely disappointed and saddened and all. But then I realized it's just a foil. You just remove it. Like that. And now for the back part. Watch this. Oh my god, look at that. Look how clear it is. Wow. This is awesome. So now that we've done that, um, we can now start with the base. And it's important that you put these two holes here in the front because that's where you will mount the LED lights and they should not be facing the other way around. So you can see right there, that's basically where you will mount the LEDs. And here in the corner is where you will mount the four posts. So you just have to slide them in there. And that's what I'm going to do now. So I'll see you in a bit. But before I do that, I just wanted to show you that each of these has like the up arrow. So they should all be facing up. You got to make sure that um, they are pointing the right way. And here we go. This is basically what it looks like. Now you can see that these four posts are not parallel to each other because I have not yet assembled the paper ring around them, which I have to do now to keep them that way. Otherwise, it'll be very difficult to mount the panels because they'll basically just be opening up at the top, which is not good. I want to fold this and then I will wrap it around it. See you in a bit. And there you go. So now you can see that these four posts are far more closer to each other and are not like apart from one another. Um, now that I have done this, I think I can start sliding in the panels. And I think I'm going to start with the back one, which is basically the mirror panel. And then I'll slide the ones on the side. So there you go. Um, I've then also mounted the top, which was a little bit difficult. But now you can see that we have these panels in place and the mirror panels at the back. And it all looks pretty good. Um, just took me about five or six minutes. And now underneath here, you can see the LED assembly. So these will basically be the ceiling lights of this display panel or this display case. And here you can see is the switch to turn it on. And back there is where you will put the um, USB cable. So all these posts seem to be sitting well. And now let's go on to the next step. So now that I have put the two shelves in the middle, as well as mounted the LED lights, this display is almost done. I mean, you can see the LEDs are in place. They will provide extra light for the bottom shelf. And they basically just had to be fitted onto those holes there. Nothing complicated. And then the two panels on little struts that exist on the sides. 
Now you open this part here, and this is where you will slide the front panel. So here's what it looks like. Now I'll just align it here. And then it has to slide along these rails, which is a little tough. Yeah, there you go. Just like that. And the display case is closed. So we're done. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? This is how you open it, right? You just grab that if you want to change the cars and all that. And this is basically what it looks like. Now that I've put all the cars inside, you can see here's a little sneak peek on some of my other models that I have not yet reviewed. I have reviewed the one in the middle, though. But the one on the top is a 118 scale LaFerrari. The one in the middle is the Mercedes SL500, and the one at the bottom is a Ferrari FXX. And it just looks absolutely awesome with this lighting. I mean, this, to me, is totally worth the money. You know, like, why pay tons of money when you can get such a beautiful display for anywhere between 45, 50, and 70 euros? I think it was worth it. Thanks, guys, for watching, and have a great day. This is Imperial Diecast, signing out.